Let me just try something out for a second. That's actually better. My name is Matt, welcome back to the shop. And today we're going to be talking about um, complexity and part, parts count because um, a lot of people keep on saying these things and again this is one of these things where I think that people think they're buzzwords and they go off on one just saying well I've heard that used before I'm gonna say it. you know what I mean complexity and parts count are not the same thing right so these are you know separate entities usually why they have <laughs> individual words so you know two different words to describe two different things so let's talk about parts count first because that's the fucking easiest <laughs> you know what i mean uh parts count parts count is more of a manufacturing concern and um it's more to do with suppliers and stuff like that the usually the, the higher parts count that you have the more manufacturing steps you need to go through to make each individual part and also assemblies a pain in the ass you know when the when we start talking about an engineering when we start talking about the reduction of a parts count and stuff like that it's um part of your bomb right and your bomb is your bill of materials it's basically just a list yeah just a big fucking list of materials and you want to you know it's called bomb reduction we're basically just trying to the more parts you can take out the more you can get one part to do the same thing so for instance um let's just say you have a uh i don't know you have a alternator on a car right and this alternator has a bracket there and a bracket there another bracket that comes out here like this right and then over here you have a another bracket like this that holds on the two lugs on a fluid bottle with a neck on it you know with a cap on it like that you know the, it says full on the sides and it's got his lugs on like that now if you can obviously stick these together you know what i mean so you create some kind of alternator bracket that looks like this you know like like this with all these fucking holes in like that if you can integrate these two to make this one part then you are reducing your parts count from this to this all the drilling operations happen on this and even then if you can start removing holes if you can even do that it's not a parts count that's more of a process step reduction but you get what I mean, if you can do all these things and, you know, do stuff like that. A lot of time you'll see, um, back in the day, they used to like have a dowel pin here like this, right? They'll have a dowel pin and instead what they do is they just punch a folded tab. This will be three mil thick and they just punch a folded tab in the material and then it'll, that's its datum. You know, they'll just punch a tab through there instead or have some other kind of feature. Um, that's... You know, it's easy to punch a tab out of the same material instead of drill, uh, finding, drilling, you know, reaming and then putting a dowel in and the, the dowel itself, that kind of rubbish. So that's part count reduction. As you can see, you might think actually that parts count reduction can increase and re reduce the complexity of something you could have like i say you could have just a bracket like this with some holes in it but then if you want to integrate another bracket into it like this you know what i mean that has this going on so you've added this bit here and there's a hole here there's a hole here there's a hole here and then you add another fucking flange on here like this and there's a hole here and a hole here like this and then you have a tab that comes in here that's got another hole in there you know what i mean all of a sudden you're getting to 
a really expensive or a bit more of an expensive part and this is more complicated than our even our initial three brackets you could have one two three brackets it's more complicated it's more complicated to get to fit together and now you've done this you might need an extra boss on your engine block you know over here you have your engine block you might need an extra boss to mount this to it and blah blah that's increasing it's you know how complicated it is how complex it is this part itself this one part it might have just been this one bracket and all these shits you've added later on you know what i mean so it's not part, part count and complexity are not the same thing hence why they have two different words right then so that's that done complexity complexity also isn't what people think it is um there seems to be this thing of let's stay away from complexity if you can make something more simple a harley engine is so much more simple it's just better well if that's the case then look at aviation for instance planes are getting more and more and more and more complicated and if you just look at the airframe, the landing gear and the engine, forget all the passenger shit and all that rest of it, they are getting more and more and more sophisticated, more and more complicated. The parts count is going higher and higher and higher and higher because stuff like safety and all the rest of it, you know, um, and efficiency, lightness, blah, blah, blah. Just because it's more complicated doesn't mean it's necessarily a bad thing. It's like, oh, well, that's more complicated, that's more complex, that engine design is more complex. You want simplicity. Simplicity is usually linked right in there with, um, you know, low price. You know, so simple usually equals that, right? Let me explain to you something about parts count and complexity. The R1 cross plane, so the, the cross plane crankshaft, that is really high, that's high complexity. Now the reason why it's, it's highly complex is not from, a, it is one part, that fucking crankshaft is one part, apart from the gear for the uh, balancer shaft, that's a, a pressed on gear. But the rest of the crankshaft is just one part, right? It's just one complete part. Now, your parts count there is one. You can't get any lower than that. Um, but that is a severely complicated crankshaft. As in, it's not the process steps. It's not the fact that it's one, one part. It's the fact that the forces are complicated, right? So when we say about com you know simplicity versus something that's complex, a two up two down normal standard straight four crankshaft is a lot less complex than the R1 crankshaft. Even though they're both one part, the R1 crankshaft is a lot more. The forces are a lot more complicated. The harmonics, the balance, uh, the resonance, all kind of the same thing. Um, the forces, the deflection, the torsional twist, the firing order, everything that's associated with that crankshaft is a lot more complex. It required a hell of a lot more money, R&D and um, ingenuity to basically get that to a point where it works. You look at that crankshaft, every single web is different. It's a different shape. That's just showing you how complex that crankshaft is compared to just say like your ZX6 fucking two up, two down kind of thing. Um, you know, it, the the symmetry, symmetry is simplicity, and you look at that R1 crankshaft, it's fucking all over the place. Every single web is different. I think there's only two that mirror each other that are pretty much the same, and they're not the same. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, complexity doesn't necessarily mean just, oh, it's got loads of parts, or something like that. It's actually the forces that are at play and more to do with the complexity than how many parts it's got. Don't get me wrong, if it's more complicated, it's like people tend to think in Lego terms, the more parts I have, the more complicated it is, the higher skill rating you get on Lego. Yeah, but if you do it bit by bit by bit, it's not really that complicated at all. And like I say, the space shuttle, 
even cast today, you know, they are becoming more complex and they work absolutely fine. Your phone works, you know, my last phone, the S9, it worked with the S7, it worked without missing a fucking beat. That thing is ridiculously complicated, you know what I mean? Just fucking mind blowingly complicated. But, you know, com com some things being complex and complicated shouldn't deter us from trying to do those kinds of things. These things do work. You know what I mean? And they work all the time. Hope that makes sense. And I'll see you in a bit.